Coming here is a decision that has led me into an exploration of academic, personal and social self and every day at my Human Sciences program is an opportunity to grow and to live with academics who are in the pursuit of something similar. I've got a very personalised experience where professors who are doing very important research in my field can share their knowledge and skills with me. For example, with Professor Beverly Yamamoto, I'm collaborating on a, collaborating on a research that maps the experiences of international faculty in Japan, and I was recently at the University of Tokyo to do so. Uh, with Dr. Christy Lam, I'm helping the relief and reconstruction of a village in Nepal. I've also published two pieces on education, and I have a third forthcoming in a peer-reviewed journal related to gender and sexuality. Um, I've also got to present at conferences in Singapore and Italy, as well as got to edit the in-house Human Sciences Digest. Students, so I am the International Student Council President, as well as the chair, the vice chair of the Foreign Council Committee of my city here. While I'm here, I don't want to build a resume that says what I want to be, but who I want to be and why. So I've, gained, I've, I've spent a lot of time here to sort of introspect and explore my purpose and possibilities. And like many international students, I've not been immune to stress and anxiety. And these are the particular challenges. And I feel so as Osaka University grows to become this global university, like many other counterparts in Japan, I'm very excited and rather enthusiastic as a fond scholar of internationalization to contribute with small endeavors to shape Japan's destiny as a global leader in education and to promote the dreams of progression and learning that founding fathers like Fukuzawa Yukichi once saw.